G'day everybody, it is Ben from TAFE, hope you're well. Uh, quick video about the new upgrade to the Promethean Active Connect G. The pink button has changed to a different shade of pink and we've got some new icons here. And basically, aside from all the under the hood upgrades and little bits and pieces and menu changes and efficiencies, the big thing is the whiteboard upgrade. Previously, we used to use this Humdinger Squid, which is not a bad app at all. It's got an endless canvas, um, lots of drawing tools, really easy to bring photos in and draw all over the top of them. Squid is good. Also used OneNote for a minute there. It didn't have an endless canvas, but it had a really big canvas. And the nice thing about it was we could do some rough notes on the board and then we could, I could sit home and um, fix them up on my iPad before sending them out. That was cool. So OneNote was kind of cool. This was really cool. But this is by far away the coolest thing ever. The whiteboard where it used to just be one page and a couple of pens and a few bits, it's now all sorts of excellent. First off, you can have a bunch of saving options and PDF options and importantly, you can swap the toolbar position which is really handy for me at the moment because I've busted my left wing and it's in a sling and I can only teach one-handed, so that has been awesome. I like that you can go into split screen there and you can have two uh, students um, up there working away together, you know, pen choices and erasers and rulers and all sorts of stuff. One of my favorite things though is you can just erase with the flat part of your hand or your palm or the back of your hand or whatever. You don't have to continuously go back to the eraser tool. Um, so you can draw with your finger or you can draw with a pen and then you can just wipe it away. And that is just, just a whole, that is way more fun than it should be. It is just erasing lines, but it just feels really good to do that. Instead of just like a white page, you can have lined pages, you can have grids, all sorts of Larry cool kind of stuff there. Change the colour of the pages, which is really nice for anyone who sort of has a bit of trouble reading on certain backgrounds and things like that. Jump into pictures and you can drag photos in or you've got templates and things like that for like mind maps. Don't mind the old mind map template and you can actually, you can get that to blend right in too, which is real, real nice. Let me back out of that. I hit that button one too many times. Now, zooming in and out is sort of like a pinching gesture when you're on the draw, I like you're on the move tool, not the draw tool, and you can move things around there. And as you see me moving around, you see how that thing over in the top left, that's your navigator. So you're actually moving around your endless canvas that way. And I'm doing this one handed at the moment because my other hand is useless for now. <laughs> Hopefully it'll grow back. But if you're doing this with two hands, it's way, way, way easier. As you can see, if we complete our mind map or whatever, and we can slide on up, we get more space to work and if we slide on up further still you get a, a really nice document and then you can go here and you can export it out as a as a pdf and flick that to the students it's really really snazzy okay let's jump out of here and i want to bring a photo in so we might even i've just because i've got it up here and on the screen I'll do it this way, but there's lots of different ways you can do it. Say we're looking at this beautifully lit picture of grass here, and we want to bring that in and talk about light and shape and lines and textures. If we hit the annotate button, it'll take a minute and it'll drop that photo in. All right, and here it is. And um, as you can see, if I do my two finger scroll, there's my mind map up there. The photo is sitting below it and we can start to grab the pen and we can talk about the direction and the quality of light as it backlights this big pile of weeds. And if uh, someone was to disagree with me, we could press this button here, which would dump the handwriting off it. Really, really cool. 
we can talk about, we can change the thread, we could swap onto a highlighter. Um, we just have all sorts of fun options in there. One of the fun things that I really like, and again, I can erase this with the back of my hand, or I can just hit this quick dump button there, is rulers. Now these rulers, we've only been playing with for about a minute, but I'm using like a two finger spread on it to, um, to get that to get a little bit bigger. These little areas, um, can I get them to show up? So if you, if, because my, none of my finger marks are just, so there you go, that and that, they're sort of measuring the degrees I'm tilting at, so you can actually get it to 90, you know, really easily, and they snap, which is nice. Um, but say, for example, we get a ruler there, and uh, let's let's start drawing with a pen just to make it a bit clearer. We got a nice yellow color. As we drag along those edges, we get a really, really nice defined line there, which is which is cool. Uh, and there's a few little nuances and things like that we're picking up the more we use this thing. Like I said, we've only been on it really for one day, but um, we're getting quicker at it, faster, if that's even a sentence. So depending on where you grab the rule, if you grab it in the middle, it'll move it around. If you pinch it in the middle, it gets bigger and smaller. Now, if you line up the zero marker right on a point and then you grab the numbers, you can actually articulate it and it will sort of anchor itself and pivot off that point, which is really nice for teaching um, photographers about perspective and lines and you know vanishing points and things like that. That's been really nice. Yeah, it's really, really cool. You get into this protractor. Oh my gosh, there is so much I can try and talk about with the protractor, but um, depending on which mode you are on, you can fill in the angle, tap it again, you can draw, there you go, you can draw out the angle, um, and if you go on the gr this green mode, I think, yeah, it'll draw out sort of the circumference there. There is a ton of stuff to do, X cancels the tool away, if you don't like anything you're drawing, you could go over there to the eraser tool, but why would you, because you could just use the back of your hand, or you can just quickly wipe off all your pen marks. We've only been playing with this thing for like a couple of minutes. The one thing I always forget to do is jump back onto the move tool before I scroll up again. And yeah, look, I'm, I'm just finding this thing to be a tremendous upgrade. All right, everybody, uh, that was meant to be a quick video. I think I've gone overboard because I'm just so excited. Talk to you soon, and um, the more we discover, the more we will share.